This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and today we're going to look at the Sony Vio Flip 15. This isn't the review. We have a review of that already. Be sure to watch that one as well. But we're going to test it out with a pen and a couple of popular art applications. Adobe Photoshop, since we now have WinTab drivers for pressure sensitivity. Corel Painter, Manga Studio, Art Rage, and also handwriting recognition in OneNote and note-taking in general. We're going to look at those now. So we don't have to make you note-taking types wait till the very end since we're going through several art applications. We'll do OneNote first. And here we are in OneNote 2013. Got my pen right here handy. Works the same as a Sony pen. I know this is a cool color. This one came directly from entry, but they work identically. By default, by the way, the top button will erase and the bottom button will do a move page function for applications that support that. So I'm just going to write nice and quick, just as if I was really writing normally. And we're going to convert that to text. Works perfectly well. And how about if we want to do a formula? For you math types, we're going to do ink to math. So I'll write an equation here. And it can never get my twos right because I write them left-handed style, but well, if you're right-handed you'll have an easier time or you can actually train it, but you get the idea. Now is this too big to write on? Really that's up to you. I think for people who are going to do a combination of diagramming, you know, somebody, whatever it is that you do, you want more space for that kind of thing, then it's highly appropriate. Also for the equation writing, just writing text, again, that's up to you. It's nice to have all this space. Of course, at five pounds, this is a bigger thing to be working with. Put on your lap, put on your table, that's not going to matter so much. So I say, hey, the more space, the better. Anyway, that is OneNote 2013 with pen, inking, and text recognition. It works just fine. The speed is quite adequate on this. This has a Core i7. Even if you get the Core i5, it's going to have plenty of horsepower to do handwriting recognition and formula recognition. Next, look, next, we'll look at some art applications. Now we're inside ArtRage. ArtRage is bundled. That uses the modern Windows Ink API. It doesn't depend on WinTab, so we don't even have to worry about that here. It's a nice program, and since it's bundled, we'll take a look at it. And just so you can see, this is a picture that I've been working on, and I've just switched over to the ink pen mode. Maybe I want to give him some more defined lines in his hair right there. And in terms of the pressure sensitivity, of course, that's supported here. Light line, heavy line. Very obvious difference. 256 levels of pressure sensitivity. Now, of course, Entrix says that doesn't matter, even if Wacom has 1,024 or even 2048 on some products. And, you know, I think it does matter for feeling quite silky and, and nice, but they claim it's really a matter of having the pressure curves tuned. Anyway, certainly enough pressure sensitivity here to do a pleasing drawing. Now, what if I want to continue this in Photoshop? And I'm just going to save this and we're going to open it up in Photoshop next. I'm actually going to export it into a format that, like PNG that's compatible with Photoshop and we'll pick it up from there. So now we have it opened up in Photoshop and let's zoom in to 100% because that's the nice thing here. We actually have room. This is a 1600 by 900 image file. So, you know, I use Surface Pro 2 a lot for drawing, but 10.6 inches can feel kind of cramped. You walk, work on one section of a painting at a time, you really don't get the big picture. And you couldn't get pressure sensitivity in Adobe Photoshop before, but that's changed because Sony and Entrig actually, along with Adobe and Toe, because they're really in charge of WinTab drivers, released 32-bit WinTab drivers. I actually have copies of 64 and 32-bit drivers, and they work quite well. So there's a line. Now, the tool I'm using right now is a pretty fat one, but you can see here's a light line, here's a heavy line. So for a kind of nice chalky look to his hair that's a whole lot better. So it's working quite nice. Those of you who must have Photoshop to do your digital illustration work, you finally get the pressure sensitivity here and and without going to something very expensive like a Wacom Cintiq product which can run you $1,500 up to $4,000 to get a larger screen experience for drawing. I mean this is really affordable. At $1,249 it's hard to beat. Next we're going to take a look at Manga Studio. 
Now, Magnus Studio supports both tablet PC, which means Windows, Ink, API, and WinTab. So you actually don't need WinTab for this, and we are going with the standard Windows, Ink, or tablet PC settings to use this, and it's going to work just fine. Light line, heavy line, you get the idea. I can keep up with what I'm drawing, so I want to draw guy's face real quick. And a little heavier pressure there to darken in his eyes right away. And we have palm rejection. I'm resting my palm on the screen. Now, Entrig doesn't have quite the distance that Wacom does. So you want to make sure it's, you can see the little dot on the screen there that it's detected the pen tip before you rest your hand so you don't end up getting vectoring when you rest your hand on there. It keeps up very well. It's absolutely not a problem. Heavy lines for his hair because I'm going to hurry to get his hair done. So Manga Studio works like a charm on this too. And again, it's kind of nice to have all the room, especially because Manga has lots of palettes that take up space. So here we are in Corel Painter 13. They're in real tight with Wacom. They often have promotional bundles together and they rely on WinTab. Again, we have the WinTab 32-bit drivers installed. This is a 32-bit program. And it does not have pressure sensitivity. Now it's a fat brush that might be a little hard to tell, so we're going to switch over to a skinny, skinny input method instead. And we will go with crayon. And there is no difference in pressure sensitivity. So for those of you who like Corel Painter, which is a wonderful natural media drawing tool, sorry, WinTab is not going to get you pressure sensitivity here. You can draw all you want. And the tracking is just great. You can see it keeps up here. Spiral lines, the usual test to see. Really, really great for keeping up, but it's just not going to give you pressure sensitivity in Corel Painter. When are they going to jump on board with Windows Ink API? I wish I knew. I don't know. So that's art on the Sony Vio Flip 15, the largest of the Flip series models. Again, this one is sells for $1249. It has NVIDIA GT 735M dedicated graphics. Obviously, full HD 15.5 inch dual digitizer supports touch and the pen. Well configured machine, certainly great for artwork and a bargain compared to going with something like the Cintiq products. Don't forget to watch our video review of this machine, and we'll also be having a gaming demo for you gamers, too.